Hello and welcome back, I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the start gate of an ESDA track here on a set of Corsa and a car that is not familiar to you guys. That's because we're starting a new series here on the channel, Driver Spotlight, where I'm going to take pro cars from some of the major competitions with permission from the owners, such as ESDA, VDC, DCGP, EDC, and all of that, including Driftmasters, and going to be doing basically a review on these individual pro cars that these guys have built and are running. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So the first car up is that of I Tandem Addy. I competed with Addy back when I was in SSR on Forza Motorsport 7. He has this very awesome S15. This isn't his actual full livery. He's got a pretty pretty dope looking livery for ESDA here in a set of Corsa. So it's a pretty awesome S15. It sounds amazing, looks amazing. It's got 100 bodies. Definitely appreciate that. And uh, it spits some big old fireballs. From the back end of that car. So a big thank you to Adam Manny for giving me access to this car to uh, take it for a rip for the first episode here on, you know, Driver Spotlight. What better place to do it than an official ESDA track here at Daytona? So we're gonna go for a rip. I've heard from him that this car has no lift shift. So we're gonna test that out today. Also, so let's go back into uh, game cam. Got a little, looks like a little, what is that? Is that a Prey Mantis? There's a Prey Mantis on the dash. All right, that's pretty sweet. Big old fireballs from the back of this S15. So, it's definitely a very powerful car. Thousand some horsepower, four gears. We're gonna go from the back of the back stretch real quick. And we're gonna go full send on it and go in a straight line and see, you know, what kind of uh, speed we can get. And we're also gonna test out the snow lift shift. So I am using clutch right now, but from what Addy was telling me, we don't have to, to upshift. So you know we're gonna go test this theory out. So, we're gonna go full send here and then we're gonna run it on the track and see what we can do. Definitely like the fans moving in the back. Second, third, fourth, no clutch, still losing tires. Oh boy, oh yeah. This car accelerates. It's definitely losing traction, of course. Thousands of horsepower in this turbo three, you know, S15. It's, I think it's on 325s. I could be mistaken on the tire size. I'll have to check that. But so we're gonna heat up our tires a little bit. That no lift shift is crazy, but it kind of stays in boost, obviously, and uh, loses traction. So we may run a couple runs in you know, standard shifting and not no lift shift and then try no lift shift entry. Whew, this car, definitely very powerful. So we'll see if we can handle this car. We're just gonna, hopefully we don't, you know, disrespect Addy's car a little bit too much. I'm gonna go in third, kick it in. Ooh, I haven't driven this track in a minute. We are definitely off that clip. Kind of clutch kicking a little bit. The quick snap kind of got me off the start. And I think I need to increase my feedback because I'm very low feedback right now. And it feels very light. So we're going to adjust my feedback settings here on my wheel. Yeah, we're at 56. So let's go up to 80. <laughs> we're at 56 force feedback, so we're going to go up to 80. So first impressions on Eddie's car. I love the styling of it. I love the fans in the back, you know, for the rear mounted radiators. The car definitely sounds good. I appreciate the underbodies because, well, I like them. So off the rip, the setup was actually quite good. I didn't have to do much anything. All I did was, I think, lower the tire pressure a little bit and adjust braking bias for my personal preference. But otherwise, that, that was a pretty solid fast run and uh, quite impressed with how that reacted. These are definitely a lot twitchier than say my street cars because competition cars are very twitchy and very snapped angle. So it's something you have to get used to, but uh, I think for a first rip on this car, it was not a bad run whatsoever. Yep, that's much better on the feedback. Up at 85. Let's 
make sure I do not have any DRI on. DRI is off, force feedback is at 80, sensitivity is 900 degrees. Actually, we'll put it to authentic. Run number two. We're still not gonna try no lift shifts. I'm still, still something new to me that I'm gonna have to figure out how to use. Enter in. Oh, nope. Sorry, Eddie. <laughs> Sorry, Eddie, we kind of uh, biffed the car into the wall. I should have stayed a little bit more in power. So like I said, these cars are definitely very different than the street cars and everything. Competition cars are very quick to angle and things of that nature. And you got to have a very dialed tune, otherwise the car will catch you. So I like how his car matches my wheel. You know, the purple and coloring and stuff like that. Pickle fireballs. Let's, uh, let's go. Try to stretch this out. Quick handbrake grab. Stretch it out. Not the perfect line. Kind of sloppy. Wouldn't be a perfect, you know, qualifying run. But you know, definitely a new car to me. But if this thing gets down, not gonna lie, Addy's definitely done a lot of good work with this car. I know he's working with some other people with deliveries and things of that nature. It's definitely a solid car. So let's take it to a track that I know very well. If you guys can guess what that track is, then you know where we're going. Let's go get to it. So you know we could not leave without testing this car at my favorite FD track. That is Irwindale. You guys know I love this track. We did drop the gear ratio down in hopes that we can utilize fourth and possibly this no lift shift feature. Oh my. I think we may be able to actually utilize fourth now and the no lift shift. So make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'll just follow in the description box below. And also a big thank you to Ice and Maddie for hitting me up with this car for the beginning of this series. So if you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments down below. If you have a pro car that you compete in, in some of these major competitions, let me know. Hit me up on Discord. We can possibly get a driver's showcase on your car. So let's go, FD Irwindale. I tan to Maddie's S15. Quick snap to angle. Probably could have lowered the gears a little bit more. Definitely should not have grabbed the brake there, but. Down in the third, actually. That no lift shifting is quite nice. And, uh. Not a bad run. So it looks like we can utilize third on the bank too. So we're gonna try and rip third gear on the bank. We've already taken away 10% of our tires. So let's go for another run here. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this, driving other people's comp cars. Throw it in a little bit lower on the bank than I want to be. See if we can sauce it up there. Massage it up a little bit. Should not be pulling e-brake in that transition, but we got this. A left foot brake to bring it down. Car handles tremendously well. Ooh, almost taking that wall. Try to run this inner wall. Once again, a big thank you to Addy for allowing me the use of his pro comp car for ESDA. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more, let me know it in the comments. We are going to do one final run in Addy's car. We're down to 78 tires. 10% of tires per run. Oof. These Falcon 615s are definitely getting chewy. So let's, uh, let's go full send. We're going to try to get higher on the bank, though. Kind of a snap angle. No handbrake there. That's what we needed. A little handbrake there. Oh yeah, this is this is a much better run. I think this is a perfect run to end this episode off on. 
So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Almost taking out that wall. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Ha, ha, ha.